Nerf gun attachments. Look at what we have here. The Nerf Doomlands Double Dealer. Let's take a quick look at the box. This comes with 24 Elite Doomland darts. And fires two darts at once, obviously. So let's take a look at the back of the box. We get that larger picture of the actual blaster. Looks quite cool. You get your little... Uh, Doomland's backstory with all those pictures that we're used to, and another little story. Let's read it real quick. In a post-apocalyptic future, Earth has left a barren, lawless wasteland. Out of the ashes, a lone hero emerges to bring justice to a doomed land. Okay, so that was a waste. That was the same story. Pretty cool. Uh, they go over more features here. Two 12 dart mags. Uh, so that's a total of 24 for the firing capacity. Fires two darts at once, and slam fire action. We love to hear that. Uh, what worries me already uh, is there are no range claims whatsoever, but I don't really think that's their focus on any of the Doomlands blasters. So anyway, let's get right into the unboxing. Right oh. Included in the box is the main blaster, the double dealer itself, the two magwell guides, two really cool looking 12 round mags, 24 of these cool Doomlands Elite darts, I love the color on those, and the instructions. There is some minor assembly required for uh, the double dealer, so let's handle that right now. These are the two magwell guides. You should be used to that if you've used a Raider or a Rampage or anything like that. So let's get this right on real quick. These are the mag release buttons. You want that to be facing you. So that's how you know how to put that in. Easy enough. As long as that uh, mag release button is facing you, you're good to go. And that was pretty simple. First, we'll go over the external features and functions of the blaster itself. Then we'll dive into internals as far as how it functions and how you can fire it. I'm not going to take it apart in this review. But if I do a mod guide, you'll definitely see the inside of the blaster then. So anyway, starting from the front, you have your cool double barrel muzzle right here. Two barrels in there. And a small tactical rail is right up atop the uh, barrels. Underneath... On the bottom of the blaster, you have your pump action or slam fire handle grip right here. And it has a pretty cool looking uh, hand guard. Moving up back to the top, you have a clear jam door that fits in with the clear aesthetics of the Doomland series. They always show you as much of the internals as they can. To either side of that is your mag well. This is where you put all your mags inside. Coming back to look at it this way. This is the mag release button like I told you earlier. To remove the mag, you pull back the priming handle and then you push this button down at the same time, grabbing the mag and pulling it out just like that. And the same goes for the other side. But the pump handle has to be in the rear position. When you're forward, especially after you reload the magazine and reinsert them into the blaster, you're locked and loaded now. You cannot pull the handle back until you pull the trigger and fire the blaster. To insert the magazine, pull back the priming handle, insert the magazine fully until you hit the click, and then push the priming handle back to the forward position. Anyway, I'm kind of going all over the place. This was just supposed to be the features uh, of the aesthetics. So, moving back from the magwells, you have another good size tactical rail on top here. And down below is your main pistol grip handle here. Nothing else of note. They couldn't even paint the double dealer words black on the other side. And I'm really starting to get annoyed with that. Sorry. 
Uh, moving back is this tiny mini stock, which we won't even call a stock. I don't believe it's meant to be a stock, really, if I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, because it's tiny. But what it does do is it will hold your magazines. You can hold extra magazines in the rear here. So it's a storage stock, or we'll just call it mag storage bay or something like that. So it holds two mags in the back there, and I'm led to believe that it holds them reasonably tight. Yes, it holds them perfectly well. Uh, unless you really crash into something running at full speed, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that these mags are not going anywhere. But another thing that I've seen online is with only one mag in there, yeah, falls right out. That is unfortunate. I forget which review I saw this in. Uh, but if you remember, guys, do let me know in the comments, in the comment section. Some some review of this showed this. And that that really sucks. I mean, I guess they're expecting you to to reload both mags at the same time. So maybe it's not the worst. They they the way they just designed it is the pressure from one mag holds the other mag in, so they're holding each other in uh, with that kind of design. But anyway, let's talk about shooting this thing load it up and do a firing test. Alright, so I've got the magazines all full, loaded up, looking very nice. To fire the double dealer, you just pull back the slam fire handle here, insert your full magazines, make sure the arrows line up, I don't need to tell you that though, do I? Make sure the dart's facing forward, make sure the arrow's pointing towards the barrels. Slide it in until you hear the click. Slide in the other one. When you push it forward, and you can probably see this through the jam door. When you slide it forward, it grabs the darts right there and slides them up right into the back of the barrel. It's chambered, so the double dealer is locked and loaded right now. To fire off darts, you Pull the trigger now. That's all you have to do. You push the priming handle all the way back to the forward position. Pull the trigger. It'll fire two darts simultaneously. This is a bona fide shotgun here. There's no two-stage trigger or like the rough cut where you can fire one at a time if you push the trigger in halfway. That doesn't exist. It's just all or nothing. So let's do this firing test real quick, shall we? All right. Once again, I'm about 15 feet away from the wall, so. Let's see what this can do. Trying to shoulder it is completely ridiculous. <laughs> I just noticed that they have a jam release button right there. Is that a good sign? Is that a bad sign? Does that mean they know it jams? I don't know. Let's see how the firing test goes. I hope I don't get any jam. These are new darts. So let's go. Let's slam fire the rest. How many do I have here? So, you know, slam fire means when you hold down the trigger here and you continuously cycle the pump grip. So we'll do that right now. Okay. Now I didn't have this problem when I was actually firing it, but now it's definitely locking up on me. I don't know how to describe it. Uh, tell me what that's about, because that didn't happen when I was actually firing darts, but if I'm trying to dry fire it, I can't really slam fire that that well. Anyway, this is the part where I go over my final thoughts and opinions on the Nerf Doomlands Double Dealer. So, here we go. I was really, really looking forward to this blaster. Now that I have my hands on it, it feels great. This handle is pretty comfortable but this pump grip handle up here is divine it feels perfect the firing trigger is just like what you expect from anything else it feels uh, nice and responsive it's not mushy or anything like that um, I thought unloading a mag 
across the blaster would be too difficult to bother with. But it's not really that bad. I can just push it there and start to slide it out already. It takes some getting used to. So, I mean, like that, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Everyone says it looks like a plane, and it does, or some kind of spaceship. But if you hold it up like this, what does that look like? That looks like a cross to me. This looks like it could be a good uh, vampire hunting, Van Helsing kind of prop or something like that. <laughs> From Dust Till Dawn. When he made the shotgun cross out of a, a regular shotgun and a baseball bat. Remember that? Who saw that movie? Coming back to this storage bay, this dual storage bay, or this double storage bay back here for mags. Uh, I guess they're expecting you to reload both mags at the same time. So the complaint about it not holding one mag very well is probably going to be a moot point because you're gonna, it, it has two magazine wells, you're gonna load both mags at the same time. But what I do have a problem with, usually, always, is why is this so short? storage bay is too short and too close to the uh, handle to be a stock. Why? Nerf, just put Raider stocks on everything please and I'll be happy. However, there's even a silver lining to that. Due to its nature of being a shotgun and how comfortable the, the handles are, I, I, wouldn't, I don't have a problem shooting while holding it like this. Or from the hip. You know what I mean? Any kind of weird way. I don't mind. This is one blaster that's not like crippled by not having a stock. On on the other hand though, I mean, the worst part of this blaster is actually the performance. If you're in it for the performance, you're going to be sorely disappointed. The performance is lacking. And it has a propensity to jam apparently, but... I have faith in it. I believe with the right mods you can cure that. But for now, or if you're not planning on modding it, this might not be the best investment. I'm happy I bought it though. And I'm going to put the work in to make it reach its full potential. So I'd recommend it for the modder and the tinkerer. If you like the look of this faster, then, then good things can be expected in the future. If you're not a modder though, I don't know if I could recommend this fully. Uh, it looks cool. It feels cool. But... It jams, and it's not super powerful out of the box. So, either way, I'm going to leave a purchase link down in the description below, so you can go check that out. And with that said, that's a wrap for this one, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Take care, guys.